Hello students, please subscribe the channel, drop a like, share and comment. This is exercise number 13 of the Progressive Monthly Magazine, September 2022 on the speed of 100 words per minute. Start. This is the third meeting of the Central Advisory Board of Education since India attained her independence. It is now necessary in the light of experience we have gained in the last three years to consider carefully and dispassionately our hopes and plans for the education of free India in the coming years. It was but natural that after the attainment of freedom, we should have considered ambitious programs for the expansion of our national education. This was necessary as education is one of the most important of our nation building activities. We had also to make special efforts to wipe out the deficiency in education created by over a hundred years of foreign rule. It was in this spirit that the Ministry of Education prepared a program of work for the next 10 years. It was obvious that we had to build our educational structure from its very basis and improve it both qualitatively and quantitatively. The number of our literates was and is lamentably low. Even the literacy that is imparted is not of the highest quality. In view of the demand for an all-round expansion and improvement, it became necessary to fix an order of priorities so that our limited resources were not frittered away in attempting too many things simultaneously. You will remember that it was with this object in view that the Ministry of Education, with your general support, proposed that our immediate objectives should be four, namely, 1. The provision of basic education on a universal, free and compulsory basis for all our school-going children. 2. The provision of adult education in order to wipe out the colossal illiteracy of our masses. 3. Improvement and expansion of technical education in order to solve the problem of manpower for industrial and technical development. And 4. The reorganization and improvement of university education from a national point of view. The post-war development plan laid down that it would take 40 years to implement a scheme of basic education and cost the nation a sum of rupees 8000 crore at the rate of about rupees 200 crore a year. You will remember that after the attainment of independence, we all felt that the period was too long and exigencies of our national economy demanded a reduction in the cost. We realized that lack of finance was not the only obstacle in our way. You considered these reports last year and generally approved of the recommendations. I agree with your views and feel that in the light of the modifications suggested, we may prepare our programs on the basis of cooperation between the state and the people so that the state may extend the necessary facilities and services on the one hand and the people on the other, 
supplement on a voluntary basis the efforts of the state to improve our standards of technical education the program that we had envisaged was the establishment of four higher technological institutes in addition to the strengthening of existing institutions considerations of finance did not permit us to start with all the four but we thought that at least a beginning should be made the eastern higher technological institute near calcutta was taken in hand though even waiting for the construction of all the necessary buildings the scheme is in progress and i hope that the next academic year will see the first batch of teachers and students working in this institute simultaneously it has been our aim to strengthen the existing institutions by improving their quality and increasing their capacity in the field of university education the indian university education commission under the chairmanship of professor radha krishnan was asked to submit its report within 9 months you will be glad to know that it has already done so the report is before you and one of the main functions of this meeting of the board will be to consider the recommendations of the commission i have even at the risk of some repetition recapitulated these points so that we may be in a position to judge where we are you will appreciate that so far as planning is concerned the ministry is ready with its program in all the four fields mentioned by me i would therefore like to draw your attention to the obstacle which stands in the way of their immediate implementation you will remember that in 1947 the problem of refugees from western pakistan absorbed almost all the energy and a major portion of the finances of the nation there was therefore no hope of adequate funds being available for educational expansion in the immediate future but in spite of these difficulties the budget for 1998-99 saw an increase in provision for education during 1998-99 our scheme for educational reconstruction reached a suitable stage for implementation it was my hope that the 1999-2000 budget would enable us to make a beginning with the program for the same now